What's going on, everyone? It's the Niskel. Welcome back to Persona 3 FES. A few more days until the full moon, I say we hang out with somebody like Kiske. Good guy, Kiske. How you doing today? Photography club? I would love to go. Take a couple snapshots, realize the lens cap is still on, and just say, I took pictures in the dark. So, Kiske, about that bet you made with your dad, how's that going? Ooh, an announcement! Is this about what I was talking about just a minute before? Oh, Kiske! Yes! My boy! That was a little vague, but... <laughs> you will receive a prize, a.k.a. the wooden spoon. Means you place in the top four, at best you'll receive first place. And at worst, they'll say, eh, this guy exists. All right, look at you! Depth of field and everything. Explain those F-stops! Congratulations, Kiske. You did better than my photo, which was literally of my feet. You did it! Go tell your dad. <laughs> yeah, that's right. My dad promised me. You can do whatever you want. Follow those dreams. I don't have to listen to him anymore. Well, I wouldn't go that far. You should at least... If he gives you parental advice, please listen. We should celebrate! Just as long as Fuka's not making the food. I'll pick up some chips and salsa. How about that? Everybody get crunk! Kiske gets to do what he wants! And believe me, Kisuke, whenever there's a party, Hajime always knows. In fact, Hajime is always there. He will never not be at a party, Kisuke. Don't you ever forget that. Even if you don't invite Hajime, you will find him in a corner, staring you down, wondering why you didn't invite him to the party. Hajime will always be there. He is always the life of the party. When he leaves, the party dies, Kisuke. You wouldn't want that to happen to your own celebration party, now would you? Invite me, Kisuke. A few things I need to talk to you about, but don't worry, everyone. It won't take long. Please wait outside the faculty office. Alrighty. Are we not allowed to know, or they, you just really want us to stand outside the faculty office while you deliver good and or bad news? Here we are, outside the faculty office. Now, news, please. You're expelled! Judge thinks you have a lot of potential, so if you're interested in studying abroad... Oh, Kiske! That doesn't come by too often! Did something happen? Of course, somebody fainted! Call in Dr. Kiske! I guess this is his way of saying, yeah, I'll be right back. I need to think on this proposal. Thank you, though! He doesn't want to be a doctor, but he's got a knack for it. He's always running off and saving the day. Well, don't be too jealous. I mean, Fuka had a headache one day, and all of a sudden he wanted to strip her. That came out wrong. Yeah, well... Put a pin in it, Fuka. We'll do the party later. Don't worry. Well, good job, Kiske. Look at you. Photo being selected by the judges. Congrats. Now, tonight is 10-1. 10-1 rings a bell with me. We actually go into here, go to our quest real quick. On 10-1, somebody might be able to give me oil. I wonder who that individual could be. Somebody who has to do with oil. It's Igus. Hi, Igus. Yeah, any types of oil. Fuel, food. I, I would rather have, like, maybe motor oil. I don't know. Uh, I can give you some silicon oil for delicate parts. You have a large supply of oil for your delicate parts. Awesome. Let's go turn this into Elizabeth. And hopefully she won't mention anything about the description I just gave, which was about 
50 times more lewd than I expected it to be. I'm so sorry. I didn't really mean for it to come out like that. It's what she said, okay? That, hey, I'm not a bad person. Don't accuse me of being a bad person. I'll shut up now. Elizabeth, I've got something for you. Why did you want oil in the first place? Legitimate question. Why? Yeah, did you want to oil up Igor's nose? Is the elevator creaking? No, no, it, it's, you know, hinges. Uh, try eating them. No, Elizabeth, y you don't. No, 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 do not. Yo, don't <laughs> drink it. In Persona 3 Portable, uh, in, in our playthrough, Theodore actually does taste the oil. He goes, wow, this tastes interesting. I'll have to try some more. There we go. Another request done. And what else do we have? We have that stupid katana. Perform Thunder Call. You will need Taki Mikazuchi and another God of Thunder. Thanks to Kazuchi, we actually have that other God of Thunder. We needed Thor. Or is it Odin? I can't remember. But it says God of Thunder, so I'm going to assume it's Thor. Postax will correct me on this. We haven't been able to go back to Tartarus yet. And I don't think we'll have to. Create Black Frost. Can we actually do that right now? Hold on a sec. Ooh, I completely forgot about this. Okay, if you actually uh, play FES, you won't be able to tell what these fusions are. But this one right here, King Frost, Jack Frost, Pyro Jack, and Queen Mab. That's what you need to create Black Frost. But do I have a high enough level for it? That's the question. Let's try it. Here we go. Got the fusion materials. And it does happen here in FES. When you actually have a combination, when you have all the ingredients to make a specific persona, Igor will actually let you know. And here in the cross, we can make Black Frost. We have an emperor, two magicians, and a lover, so let's put them together. Black Frost is really cool. Only weak to light, strong against darkness and fire, and completely nullifies ice. Pretty good magic stat, too, and it's very, very lucky. Let's see if we can't make this more amazing. You know what? This'll work. I was trying to make it so that I didn't get any ice moves to add to Black Frost, because it's silly to actually add that, because it already starts with Bufala. And uh, notice its starting moveset, Mudo, Agilau, and Bufala. Pretty good moveset to start out with, and we'll be able to give it some more interesting moves. There you go, Black Frost. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Well, we'll get to see another cross fusion eventually, but just know it puts the cards in a cross shape and then mashes them together to get Black Frost. Now, out of the Fool Arcana, what is it getting? It's getting Marakunda. Decreases all foes' defenses. Decreases one foes' hit evasion rate. Let's get rid of that because I like lowering all defenses. That sounds a lot more fun. Can we get one more? Yes! Trafury! Interesting move, because you can escape most battles with it. I don't know why you would want this, but it's kind of funny. Increases one ally's defense, decreases all foes' def foes', foes' defense. Uh, I actually don't want uh, Ray Patra. I already have somebody who knows Ray Patra, so I'll be fine. There's Black Frost. Now to actually take the request, turn it in. Elizabeth, look. I did it. I made what you wanted. And for what we get for it, it might be worth my while. Yes, I have brought you the Mischief Maker. Oh, we'll get there. There are some really fun personas that we can make. I can't wait. Get Wizard's Mark as our reward, and let's see what else we have here. Create Giri Mekala. I don't think we can make this yet. I believe I'm one level off. So, skip it. 
See you later, Elizabeth. I'm out. And now for the wizard's mark. I want to see what that actually is. Let's see. Whip. No, not get rid of scrap. Wizard mark restores a bit of SP every turn. Ooh. Throw that on Hajime right there. I'll take that. And now we can get back with our lives. Tonight, I was actually going to, well, <laughs> go to the arcade. I happen to be in the neighborhood, might as well. Punching bag, good. I want to get Kingu another uh, few exper experience, a few more points in strength, and we're good to go. And now for the fun part, ignoring people. Yeah, let's just go to bed. Got a few days left. It's getting closer. It's probably just going to be a regular cut and dry full moon. Just have to quickly beat the boss. It's going to go down in no time because of our levels. It probably won't even have a unique skill that makes it extremely difficult and not at all bullshit. Just kill it quickly and there we go. We're done. Hitotoshi wants to hang out. That's rare. Am I coming to student council? I really don't want to commit to that. Because it's student council, and that means I'll probably have to work. Either that or protect some unaware student from you. I'm sorry, Hitotoshi. You, you need to work to get on my good side, bud, and you're not really doing it. Speaking of student council, let's actually go to student council. Yeah, I was thinking about it, and really, he's the only one I want to hang out with. Because we're actually getting close to finishing the Student Council Social Link, might as well work on these ranks while I can. Not saying that there's a time limit, but it would actually help to finish a few more Social Links. Chihiro, did you run them all off? I've seen you mad, so I can understand if people ran away in fear. Well, I don't know. Where's his body? Oh, God. Uh... What, what is... Oh, both of these are very concerning. Something wrong? Oh, dear. A cigarette butt. Oh, no. Yeah, let's go see what's going on. Hopefully he's not getting chewed out by a teacher. Wait a minute. What's all the hubbub? Excuse me? I'm being suspected? Uh-oh. Who gives a crap where I go at midnight? In fact, if they saw me at midnight, they're as guilty as I am. Oh dear. A deal? Oh my. So, uh, care to explain? Yeah, I was listening, it was a heated argument. Anybody would listen. No matter how silly it ended up being about. Let me just start off by saying it wasn't me. <laughs> Thanks for backing me up. I know, just randomly calling me out just because somebody saw me around midnight. Who's looking through my window? Aw, thanks, Hitotoshi. He's got my back. Now, Hitotoshi, what happens if I really am the bad guy? What happens if it really was me who put that cigarette butt in the boys' bathroom? What if I am one step closer to ruling this school with absolute dominion? Hitotoshi, have you ever considered that the true culprit is right under your nose? <laughs> I'm just kidding with you. I'm the good guy! In fact, if you want a few names to sell out, why don't you call up the Phantom Thieves? 
It's really easy to find them. You just gotta find some blonde-haired doofus who keeps yelling about the Phantom Thieves. He'll lead you right to them. Day after tomorrow, it is almost here, Yukari. You are not ready. And yeah, she's right. We are almost done. For tonight, Koromaru, do you want to do anything? Whimpering is not in the mood for a walk. Actually, it's funny. Uh, this is the second time I've had to record this episode. Uh, one, because there were multiple distractions that were happening as I was doing commentary. And the other funny thing is I actually forgot the Igus quest <laughs> because I went on a walk with Koromaru. Yeah, on 10-1, you can actually take a walk with Koromaru. You just get a random item, but I thought it was really funny that in the middle of that walk, all of a sudden, yeah, I, uh, I completely forgot a time-sensitive quest was about to happen. Oops. Ooh, sinister music. Lost are growing because it's almost here. The big bad shadow will be coming tomorrow. I guess I'm actually going to have to think about who I want in battle with me. It should be a very entertaining fight. Oh, exams! But I'm saving the world, Ms. Toriyumi! Okay, you got it. The younger generation is creating its own language in cyberspace. No fooling. If you're talking about regularly misspelled words, then look at Twitter. Oh, she's talking about lead speak. Oh my god! No way am I sleeping on this. Stay awake. You come up with your own internet slang? Not only is it totally unreadable, it's impossible to tell whether it's gibberish or real sentences. Hey, I actually knew somebody who did a lot of lead speak. That's interesting. Flare for cryptology? I could be a government spy. Yes! Communicate to your brethren through lead speak! The government will never know what hit them. They'll never see it coming, Miss Toriyumi. Well, one more day. Let's hang out with a certain somebody we haven't seen in a while. I figure it's about time. And also, we recently finished our social link with Fuka, so this might sound like an absolute dirtbag, but we have a new target. Hi, Yuko. Hoping for some company. Uh, yeah, let's go. Figured you'd be happy about that. All the kids. Kids are ready. Boys and girls, it's time to run. <laughs> one on one, we beat two of the sixth graders. No way! We lost to the other two, but overall, it was a tie. Yes! Aw, that's so nice. Pretty fast for fourth graders. All right. They respect you now. You all did great. Aww. <laughs> that was an amazing cheer, kids. Okay, that was pretty good. Why does this seem like reality? Well, Yuko, let's take a look at the studio audience. Are you relieved? <laughs> well, true. But...
It's good to have something to put your heart into. I mean, you've taken care of Kazushi so far. Oh, me? Okay. Sounds like fun. Party! As previously mentioned, Hajime will always be there for the party. Uh, yes, please. Yes, please. Things are starting to get serious. Oh, no. Hopefully this doesn't backfire. But thanks a lot, Yuko. Actually, I should call you Coach. Good on you, Coach. You managed to help those kids. And the Yoshis became happier. I have no idea where that came from. I'm just thinking those kids are so happy. Hehehe. <laughs> uh, that was totally planned to finish up Fuka Social Link and then uh, restart another one where the next rank would literally be the death of my Social Link run. <laughs> you got it. Oh crap, are we going now? Straight to the party. How was your day? Uh, not too bad, Fuka. Just working on girlfriend number three. I'm a piece of crap. Tomorrow's the full moon. Next time on Persona 3 FES. We gotta get ready for a big fight. See you guys next time.